Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the Constitutional Amendment Bill. But Mr. Speaker, before I proceed any further, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my constituents of ancillary canneries for their participation in the independence battle relay yes, yes, yes. and the various activities in which they took part to celebrate our 44th independence. That's right, sure. It was yet another opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to demonstrate that we are greater than our misfortunes. Mr. Speaker, justice is one of the most important ideals of any society. It is necessary to create a fair and just society. That's right. Mr. Speaker, the notion coming out of the opposition is really not surprising. It is the very leader of the opposition who at one point indicated that I had no pedigree. Mm. The leader of the opposition has demonstrated that he does not believe in anything local, anything regional, or in some instances, anything international. And now it is clear his lack of faith in our jurisprudence. Mr. Speaker, we have had the legal basis, we have heard the moral basis, we have heard the philosophical basis, and to tie it all together, we just heard the biblical basis. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker, <laughs> I believe in the jurisprudence coming out of this region. And I therefore, without any doubt, support our ascension to the CCG. Mr. Speaker, the member for Kashris North indicated that for the last 18 months, the leader of the opposition has for one reason or another left the chambers when it was time to debate the business of the people. It is Mr. Speaker, it is to show the contempt that he has for us, the contempt he has to the people who we represent, and the contempt he has for the viewers and the people of this country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, today was a clear indication of the philosophical difference between the United Workers' Party, well, the old United Workers' Party, and the St. Lucia Labour Party. Our Prime Minister, the member for Cashews East, has given his word to serve the people of St. Lucia. He's given his word and his commitment in our manifesto that we will be acceding to the CCG. Today, it has become a reality. For that, I would like to thank the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister, and our other members who were present. Because, Mr. Speaker, to be quite honest with you, I'm a very young chap, so I can't remember all of the debate. I can't remember all of the debate. But I was very grateful for the exercise at the time. <laughs> At the, time, at the time. But Mr. Speaker, I was very grateful for the education today from the member from Vifort South. It is for that reason, Mr. Speaker, that I am proud to be a member of the Senate Labour Party, and I continue to pledge my unwavering support to my Prime Minister, my Cabinet colleagues, and my government. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.